Um, what are the 12 lessons of abandonment recovery? Yes, well, um, there are, it's 12 steps, they're little tiny baby steps that allow you to um, slowly but surely go from being disconnected with yourself to being fully connected with yourself and with the world and with the spirit. So the first one involves getting into the moment and you go through this series of little baby steps until you come to the final step, which is to connect with the world and, and try to send the message of being alive and loving life and sharing that with other people. So it's there's it's in one of my books, The 12 Lessons of Abandonment Recovery. And there's also the swirl process, which is the five stages of abandonment. And for each one of the stages, shattering, withdrawal, internalizing, rage, and lifting, there is a different very practical exercise because people don't need to be given nebulous instructions. They need, here's what you do, do this, then do this, then do this. And it's a step-by-step -step program. There are five exercises that each one is broken down into, how, here's how to do it. Um, that if you follow this program, you know, you will have, you will begin to heal much more rapidly from what you're going through because it is a lot to heal from. This is not, this is big stuff that people go through. It's very painful and very discombobulating. So these exercises are really designed to be like human bulldozers to push your life forward and to somehow deal with all of the stuff that's in your path and that's within you. Thank you so much. So um, the, is there a nexus between the 12 steps and the five steps? I know that's very confusing. In my workbook, I have a workbook on abandonment recovery to make it as easy as possible. I It was really hard to do mathematically because I have the 12 lessons of abandonment recovery, which are a step-by-step -step process of getting into the moment, sort of a spiritual path. Then I have the five exercises and they don't divide up very well, you notice, but it, they, they are all one program that the 12 steps are more related to the psychological and spiritual way to posture yourself and the 12 the five exercises are about actually getting up and doing certain things okay. to get yourself back out into the world okay the five steps are action steps to take and um, maybe the they're top. very action oriented, action -oriented. The, five, the five exercises have to do with doing because you know we don't think our way out of abandonment we do our way out um we, we'd like to think that if we stay obsessed and spend all day crying and, you know, thinking about it, that somehow that'll help, but that doesn't help. It's necessary. You have to go through a period of just being bereft, but to really move forward, you have to do things. You have to get out in the world and do. You have to actually move your body and take action steps. That's how you recover from abandonment. Can you give us some examples of the things people should go out into the world and do? Because you said healing from abandonment is not something you think yourself out of. It's something you do yourself. You actually have to take steps. So what are those practical things that people can do tomorrow? To yes. Get okay. I, you know, there, it, the, the books are this thick because there, it's not like it's easy to put it in one in one spot to explain it. But I will I'll say this because this might this might give you a pretty good example. Um, one of the exercises involves creating a dial written a dialogue between yourself and your inner inner child, and it's written so you're doing something, and it's physically you're writing and you know you're you're doing something, but then in the dialogue, big you is talking to little you, and big you is going to make a promise to little you that that big you will take one little baby step today or tomorrow to help little you be happier. And that one baby step might be, um, 
I'm going to get in the car tomorrow just for you, Lil, and I'm going to take a little drive and roll the window down and feel the breeze on my face, and that's just for you. That's a baby step. The next baby step tomorrow might be, all right, we did the we did the rolling window, and that felt nice, but today I'm going to make a phone call and find out how to do um, Toastmasters, which is a program where you practice talking in front of large groups of people. And I'm going to find out about how to join Toastmasters because it would be great if, if I found a way to practice being more confident. That'll make you feel better a little. So the baby steps, some of them might just be going for a walk or you know, something very small, but they also might be joining a program, taking a positive action. If I were to have a baby step for myself, there are a couple of phone calls that I need to make to people who make me nervous because they represent, um, you know, being producers of shows. So when I call, I don't like to have to sell myself, but if I were making a baby step from one of my inner child, my inner child, I would say tomorrow I'm going to get on the phone and I'm calling Oprah's producer. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has a hundred producers, so that's mm -hmm. not so easy. But in other words, you do something that's a little hard for you to do, but you do it anyway. It's the doing. You do that and you start healing. Okay, so would you call these the special tools for abandonment recovery or are there any other things that someone can do to um, propel themselves forward professionally and personally after abandonment? Well, that's, that's a good question because the tools that I just mentioned now will work no matter what, but because they have to, they begin with a relationship between big you and little you, they're working because they're reversing abandonment. So yes, there. this is the way to push. This is one way. There are many ways, but this is a very effective tool for, for achieving goals, pushing your life forward, succeeding, breaking down barriers and actually succeeding. But they begin with a relationship with yourself. They're, they come from a deep, very deep place because you're doing this because little you the dialogue you've discovered little you doesn't feel good about herself or little you scared or little you wants to be more successful. You know, whatever it is that you have found out in your dialogue is going on. You're doing it for yourself in a deep way. 